Well, let me tell you something, Trumpomaniac. Welcome to the house that Hulkamania built. You know something? Usually, when I'm in Madison Square Garden, I'm body slamming giants. I'm winning world heavyweight titles, and I'm cracking people over the heads with steel chairs. And the energy in Madison Square Garden is off the Richter scale. But today, Trumpomaniacs, the energy in here is something like I've never felt. The energy of all these Trumpomaniacs is the most powerful force in the universe. And today, this is Donald Trump's house, brother. You know something, Trump maniacs? I don't see no stinking Nazis in here. I don't see no stinking domestic terrorists in here. The only thing I see in here are a bunch of hard-working men and women that are real Americans, brother. You know when I hear my president and our president, Donald Trump, speak, he sounds for real, brother. He sounds like he has a heart of gold that's all for the USA. But when I hear Kamala speak, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like a script from Hollywood with a really, really bad actress. You know, Kamala is responsible for the border crisis, and Kamala is also responsible for inflation. And then you know something? She acts like she's the victim. And then all of a sudden, she flips, she flops, she spins and turns it around and acts like she's going to be the damn hero. But we all know Trump is the only man that can fix this country today. And with Trump as our commander-in-chief, peace through strength will fix all the problems in the Middle East. You know, I've been coming to this building month after month after month, and I've seen sold-out crowds over and over again for over 40 years. And for 40 years, I've always asked the question, what you gonna do? Over and over and over again, what you gonna do? Well, today, after feeling the energy in this building, I finally got the answer. And the answer is, vote for Trump. So now, I got a couple questions for you. What you gonna do about the border invasion? What you gonna do about inflation? What you gonna do about keeping America safe, brother? And what you gonna do about putting God in our homes, in our country, and our schools? So I guess we're all on the same page. So I got one final question for you. What you gonna do and who's gonna make America great again? God bless Donald Trump. He's our next president.